What's going on, y'all? What's going on, world? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, DT, in the place to be. And I am back with another video for you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. This is the channel of Chicago's number one mukbanger, baby. Yes, indeed. And before we get into the mix of things, make sure that y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Eat With DT channel. Um, Shout out to all my current and uh, new subscribers that's around. Appreciate y'all, man. Welcome to the channel, man. And um, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you for the, and again, and again, and again, thank you for the continuous love and support that's been poured. And y'all, we, we finna get into the mix. And as y'all can see today, I got some cheeky nug nugs, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this is in regards to uh, Shanette Nicole's Chicken Head 500 Challenge. So... Um, first off, happy belated birthday to Shanette. You know, it was uh, three, four weeks ago, or whatever. Um, and at this point right now, she, you know, she reached her, you know, reached that uh, level of 500 subscri uh, subscribers. And currently she's around like 100 and almost six, 630, could be more, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, shout out to reaching that, uh, that certain plateau. And as well as, um, hey man, turn her page up, y'all. You know, subscribe to her channel as well. And, um... You know, she's on the road to 1K just like your boy is. You know what I'm saying? So, um, definitely go and check her page out. Um, she's a, a man. She is a fireball of energy. And um, definitely it definitely entertaining. So, uh, again, shout out to uh, shout out to Shanette. And I was challenged by Mootbonger with Priscilla. Hey, Pris. And also, Ebony. I want to chop it up too bad. It's either Tania or Tania. Um... They both challenged me on their platforms, so you know, mwah, shout out to you, ladies. Um, we here, you know what I'm saying. And y'all, as you can see today, for my chicken nuggets, I got BK, have it your way, you know what I'm saying. Fit for a cane, you feel me? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. Um, so the goal is to eat 15 chicken nuggets, as y'all can see, three, six, nine, 12, 15. Eat 15 chicken nuggets within five minutes. So I do got uh, a five minute timer set, and you can drink. Uh, you can take you know a sip or two or whatever while you uh, while you going with the challenge. And as y'all can see, I got some barbecue sauce on the side. You know what I'm saying? And um, as you can see, I can't forget about the bev baby. I got my little fresca joint. You know, boom. So yeah, y'all. Um, I'm going to pull up, um, make sure my timer's set, and y'all, we finna get straight to it. So, let's get to it. For my ASMR lovers, you know what I'm saying? Got to do that for them. Coming on out all crisp. Yes, indeed. So yeah, I don't have a, a a process on how I'm gonna do how I'm just gonna you know do the nugs or whatever. I'm just gonna do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? And as y'all can see, bam! I got my five minute timer set right there. And y'all, we we about to get things started. All right. Oh, wait, well, you know what? Let me open up my sauces. Let me open up my sauces real quick. I don't wanna be bombarded. With the foolery, doing that while I'm, um, do that while I'm um, eating on it. That's that's uh, hey, I need all the time I can get. And we are good to go. All right, y'all, we're gonna get started in five, four, three, two. One. All right, time is set. Let's get to it.
Y'all forgot to do the damn thumbnail. Ah. All right. Challenge complete. With a minute and 14 seconds to spare. All right, all right. Now, for the chicken hair story. Um, all right, so my little story is because some of y'all stories been crazy. Uh, for those who participated in the challenge. My story a little bit different. So, with mine, it was more so, okay, so this, this happened back in college. I ain't going to say no, I ain't going to say nobody's name. When we good, we're going to keep everybody's names afloat. For those who know, okay, for those who don't, hey. Right. So, this was junior year, um, year three, and this was, <laughs> so I was coming out of, so mind you, this was um, the bewitching hours of booty call hours. So, you know, uh, you know, Grand, I know my mom gonna be looking at this. Ma, cover your ears. Love you, love you, love you, lady. Um, so during this time, um, it was during booty call hours. So it was late in the morning too. It was a, it was a Saturday. It was Saturday. It was. Sunday, early Sunday morning, but it was from Saturday. So, you know, mind you, everybody coming from outside, you know, from the bars and stuff. And I ended up going to uh, this girl, uh, went to, uh, what my dorm was, my dorm was across the way. So, my campus was a very small campus, so everything was real tight knit. So, my dorm, we was in the lower quad, so I, both of the dormitories were in the lower quad. So, it was just a you know, regular little, you know, <laughs> weekend, which, you know, went to some wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And I ended up going to Shorty, uh, Shorty's dorm, you know, hit it, you know, hit it with the one-two, um, one-two punch, and left up out of there. Now, mind you, when I got done handling my business accordingly, it was like the sun was about to come up type shit. It was late. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm a night owl. So, that, that shit don't bother me. So, when we, um, so, we got done or whatever. I walked back to my dorm. Um, and, now mind you, I'm not expecting nobody to be up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not expecting nobody to be up outside of, you know, people, you know, doing what I'm doing, whatever. Lo and behold, um, later that day. Uh, like in around the afternoon, a guy that I know, a uh, guy that I knew, like I said, I ain't going to say his name, he hit me up, uh, no, he, we, we crossed each other's paths, and, uh, you know, we just chopping up, and he was like this, hey, bro, I seen you uh, this morning, I'm, now mind you, I'm like, now mind you, I'm, I had the, I had my Florida hoodie, my my blue Florida hoodie. I had my hood on that thing because you know you know I know what time it is. You know and people at my school they nosy as hell, and <laughs> so I had my you know I had my hood on. Had that bitch tied up. I'm you know walking through. Mind you, it's literally right across from one another. So you know I'm thinking. And he was like, 
And you said, yeah, bro, I seen you this morning. I, mean, I seen you coming out of such and such hall. I'm, no, I was like, I'm like, what you mean? He said, bro, he said, I know that was you. You like this? You came out the basement. Well, I'm now mind you, I'm the only only black person that lived in the basement of this of this dorm. And I'm like on, on my floor. I'm like, I'm like this. And then it, we started busting up laughing. It was so funny. But yeah, I was like, damn. He caught me doing. He caught me being a rat. I'm like, oh. But yeah, it was. You know, it was it was funny. Um. But yeah, he and, I, and I'm like, this, how you know? I, you know, so my thing is like, how you know that was me? Because I ain't really care. I'm just like, how you know it was me? He said, bro, he said, I, I, I see, I, I know how you walk or whatever. You know, I'm like, you, uh, you know, you know, obviously, you know, when you see a person a lot or whatever, you already know. You know, if you're paying attention deep in depth or whatever, it may be, you could tell uh, who a person is by how they walk or. Um, certain stances or whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying but he knew it was me and i'm like this damn i'm like grant i'm like it ain't none of his it wasn't none of his business however i'm like i ain't, feel, look, ain't no ain't no you know what i'm saying no harm no foul so i was like damn bro i'm like like i said i thought i was in the clear y'all but apparently somebody seen me and my, one thing, one of many things my mom always tells me she's like this Darren, you know somebody is always watching Ma, you was not lying, baby. You never, and you never did. You know what I'm saying? And it was just so funny that a person was able to identify me by not seeing my face. That was crazy. So, yeah, y'all. You know, if, if y'all don't think nobody watching you, somebody always watching. So, yeah, other than that, yeah, man, he called me, he called me leaving the act. I was like, oh, damn. So, it was already... Crazy enough, I'm taking the walk of shame. Let alone somebody was able to identify me based off of a non-verbal, you know what I'm saying, communication. Man, I, it, it, like I said, I was blue, but I, I, it was funny as hell because I'm like, damn, I'm like, somebody always watching. I'm like, how? I'm like, how? So, yeah, man, it, it was crazy. It was, it was funny, though, but at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's one of many chicken hair stories that I'm going to share with y'all. That's the most PG. I can't share, you know, I don't, don't want to share the other ones because the other ones is wild and all outside. Uh-uh. But now that's my little PG-13 one, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, other than that, y'all, we about to get on about it here. Again, you know, what? Well, that's my chicken, little chicken hair story, you know. <laughs> and, um, um, uh, like I said before, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe to the Evil DT channel. Make sure y'all click that bell for the post notifications. Um, so you know when your boy posts a new video, y'all one of the first ones to know. So yeah, y'all, we about to get on by here. Is DT in the place to be? And we are out.